Welcome to Mary Ann's Last Kitchen. I'm Mary Ann. Today I'm going to be making some of my neighbor Lisa's amazing beef stroganoff. Now, be so I have the pot here, which is boiling some water, and a pot here where I've started my onion sauteing. Here, I'm going to get those to the point with some the aid of some salt and some pepper and a little bit of thyme. I'm going to get them flavored. Just about a teaspoon of thyme. Get those onions flavored and I'm going to add some garlic to them. And that's just the beginning of the magic. So my onions are getting translucent and that's where you want them when you start to add the other ingredients. Um, you can make this dish with hamburger, ground beef, ground turkey, um, but my favorite is definitely with some form of steak. So it's a great thing to make the day after you barbecued steak and you have leftovers. Uh, today I'm going to be using some stew meat from the store. I'm going to throw that into my onions before I add the garlic and start browning it. And I'm not a big fan of using a ton of meat, so I'm going to use half of a package from the store. I'm going to get that brown, and then we're going to move on to the next step. Just to note on that meat, as Julia Child said, you never want to crowd a pan with meat. It will broil and boil instead of actually searing. So I've got just enough meat in there. has a lot of space between each piece so that it will actually sear and give you flavor. And I've got boiling water as evidenced by my steam and I'm going to throw in my egg noodles. So my beef is seared. I'm going to add in the next typical component of stroganoff, which is mushrooms. I'm using about eight ounces of panini mushrooms. Doesn't really matter what kind of mushrooms you use, whatever you like. And if you don't like them, like my son, just leave them out because it's still amazing. These are going to shrink, they're going to sweat off their water, and I'm going to wait until I see some Maillard reaction, which is the browning of the mushrooms. So, I'll be right back. Flavored. I'm going to add my garlic in now, which is about three cloves, so that it doesn't burn. If I put it in at first, it would have burned and become bitter. I'm going to get that in really quickly, within about 30 seconds, in this case even less. I'm going to add about 3 tablespoons of the magic ingredient from Lisa's recipe, which is balsamic vinegar. And in go about 4 tablespoons. And you'd never think vinegar was stroganoff, but that acid to fat, um, luxuriant base with a little hit of that balsamic vinegar is just ridiculous. It's so good. And I'm going to add in some Worcestershire, about two tablespoons. I always use way more of this than other people do because it's just a magic ingredient and then I'm going to throw in some of my toned beef stock and yes I am scraping it out with a knife I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of that and that adds to the richness that you don't normally get with stroganoff because you're just cooking the beef but if you add that stock component, it just kicks it up several, several, several notches. 
So in goes that. I'm going to get that stirred in well. And we'll be right back. So I have actually made this with filet, but in this case I'm just using re regular stew meat. So because of that, I'm going to let it simmer for quite a while, 20 minutes, so it can actually tenderize, break down the collagen in the meat, and become tender. So I'm going to add about a cup of water, and I'm going to cover it and let it go for that 20 minutes to become tender. I put my noodles on really early. Why I do this is because when I take the stroganoff sauce out itself, it's going to be scorching hot. I'm going to take these noodles out really quickly and I'm going to let them cool off completely. They'll be at room temp when I serve and that way they will cool off the sauce and won't be really killer hot. So I'm taking them off after about nine minutes and they will be ready for the sauce when it's done. If you could just smell this. It's so mouth-watering. So good. And it's not even done yet. So I've just added my final ingredients, which is about a cup of sour cream and about a cup of regular cream. You can use milk as well. Um, and since it's winter in Alaska and we just snowed four inches in the last four hours. We don't have any chives, which is what I would normally put on top. You can use parsley. Today I've used dill, but a little fresh herb on top is nice. So dill it is today and it's going to be delicious.